Hello, I'm Ron with Mock Web Design. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to start an HTML website. So let's get started. First thing that I'm going to do is go briefly over the six things you'll need to start a website. The first thing that you'll need is an idea of what your site will look like, taking into account its purpose. You can use tools such as Photoshop and GIMP to help in this endeavor. The second thing you'll want to do is to purchase a domain from GoDaddy, HostGator, etc. The third thing that you'll need is a hosting account. It can also be purchased from GoDaddy or HostGator. And you more than likely want a Linux account and you want something that supports more than one domain. The fourth thing you'll need is an FTP client. FileZilla by Mozilla is my recommendation. It's free and uh, a lot of people use it so you get pretty good support with it. Next you'll need graphics editing software such as GIMP or Photoshop. I recommend Photoshop, but GIMP is open source, which means it's free. And the last thing you'll need is web editing software such as Dreamweaver, or at the very least, a notepad software such as J++, which is open source and also free. Next we'll take a look at a standard web page. On the top this area is known as the header. It contains company logo, which is usually has a hotspot. Um, though it will return the user to the home page. This area here is the sidebar. The sidebar contains links to other pages. This area here is known as the footer. And the footer sometimes contains links. This area is the container. The container is this entire area. This area inside here is the content area. The content area contains material that varies from page to page. This area out here is the body, and the body is the entire website that contains everything. It goes from one edge of the computer monitor, however wide it is, to the other edge. All these parts are important when we get into the HTML coding. And if you'd like a copy of this diagram, it can be downloaded on my website. The link is in the description. Okay, now we're going to actually start into the HTML programming. Um, this is a basic site and I've put the files on the website if you want to download them. Um, this site, if you notice, it has a header. It's got the body. It's got the nav bar. It's got the content area. It's got a sidebar. And if we scroll right down here, it's got a footer area. And now I'm going to show you how all this HTML stuff is coded up. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is open up Dreamweaver. Inside of Dreamweaver, we've got two files open. Your source code, which is index.html, which is going to be your home page and is loaded into the root directory uh, where your domain is located. The second file is the styles underscore min dot CSS. CSS is an acronym for Cascading Style Sheet, and it's going to be linked in your HTML file. Uh, so it really doesn't matter what you call this, but index.html is the best name to call your home page because of the way that different browsers look at that particular name. And while you can code a purely HTML file, it really looks terrible without any styling. You can also put the styling inside of the HTML. However, it's best to have it outside the HTML and have a link to it because that way you can use the same styling sheet for multiple sheets on your website. It'll all be linked um, to the same cascading style sheet. If we look up here, um, this part in here, you can cut and paste uh, to begin with. And this link right here is what actually links it to your style sheet. Um, and this is all inside of two tags. One, this is the closing head and this is the opening head. So inside the head tags you're going to have this link. And the way that this is set up you will also put the styling sheet inside of your root directory of your .com when you when you upload your files. Okay, now we go down to 
the body remember we were talking about the body uh, section on your original diagram that I showed you this is the opening tag for the body and if you go inside that opening tag the first thing you're going to find is the container that's going to include everything that's uh, the content on your on your site then inside of that container at the very top you're going to find the header so this is the opening tag for the header don't worry about the div class equals at this point okay this is the closing tag for your header this is the opening tag for your navbar if you remember the navbar is directly under the header this is the opening and there's the closing tag for the navbar this is the opening tag for your sidebar inside of your sidebar you're going to have the opening tag for your unordered list and this needs to be there to to have links um, in your sidebar so first off you have an opening tag for your unordered list and then you're going to have list item opening tag then you're going to have your list item closing tag then you're going to have your unordered list closing notice there's a there's a pattern where you sometimes you open tags and you leave them open sometimes you open tags and you immediately close them um, all this is sort of in a hierarchy if you've ever uh, studied math and you have subsets and supersets these are all kind of your your subsets and they're inside of your superset if you want to look at it that way okay and then you're going to have your closing div tag now see this is your opening div tag for your sidebar so down here you're closing that div so this div class has to do with your closing div next you're going to open a tag for your content area remember your content area is to the right of your sidebar then you're going to immediately close that now now eventually you're going to put stuff inside of this but this is just the basic site this is uh, how you set it up and how you you know, I'll show you how to uh, do your CSS in regards to all of this. Okay, so after you close your content area, okay, this is your opening tag for your footer area. This is your closing tag for your footer area. And this is your closing tag for your container. And also note down here that on Dreamweaver, it tells you all the div tags that your cursor is inside of and they're sort of uh, hierarchy arrangement then you're going to close this div this div is your container so remember up here you opened a container and you left it open down here you're going to close the container after you open and close all the tags within the container next you're going to close the body so now you're going to close your entire web page and then you're going to close your HTML which if you look up here your HTML is way up here where you're opening it um, and so that's got to be at the very end of your page because uh, that says you're closing your links you're closing everything and your browser will look at all this and uh, it knows exactly what to do and all websites are basically the same regardless of if you use HTML or you're using WordPress uh, WordPress is going to generate all of this language but it uses something called PHP and we'll get to WordPress in later tutorials. So that's the end of segment one. Thanks for watching. Look for segment two where I'll go into CSS. Till then, have a great day.